Hello folks. Today's September 6th, 2009 and we are at the Makepeace Lake Wildlife Management Area in the New Jersey Pine Barrens. This paved road right here is the Weymouth Elwood Road. Elwood being that way and Weymouth being that way. This wildlife management area it covers approximately 12,000 acres. This is one of the main dirt roads that goes into it. Now unfortunately, when the Department of Fish and Game grades roads, they're very, very careless. They don't really care about what happens. And here they widened this entrance for some reason. And in the process with their bulldozers, they pushed the gravel further out, knocked over a bunch of trees here. Look at this goldenrod, isn't that beautiful? Now the lake that's called Make Peace Lake is to our left. We'll be able to see it in a couple of minutes. See here they that's what I don't like about the wildlife management areas. The, um, the workers with their bulldozers or whatever they use to grade the roads really don't care about anything. They end up knocking trees over. Like this pitch pine right here, they scarred it all up, tore up the trunk. It's half pushed over. Plus, they don't even keep the road graded. Here's a gorgeous little pond right here off the, next to the lake, full of water lilies. They come in once in a blue moon and work on the road. And when they do, they do more harm than good. And in the meantime, the road gets horrible. There's these huge, you know, deep potholes. Like these. And I didn't come out here to complain, but every time I come to this dirt road, I see what a terrible job they've done with it. As I say, these guys don't care about anything. They just, apparently they just collect their paycheck. And look what they've done to this pitch pine. In the process of grading the road. And that one. Now this forest, this section of forest, I should say, is very, very piney. Again, like where I was yesterday, it's close to 100% pine. Actually, pitch pine. There is no shortleaf pine here. I'm quite sure of that. See, there's typical pitch pine cones. They're huge compared to shortleaf. And these needles are much longer. All right, we've got a view of the lake.
Unfortunately, there's a lot of illegal dumping. Over there is a big pile, big mess. Some over here. But anyway, to the lake. This is a very shallow lake. In one video, you, you might remember me walking on it in the winter when it was frozen. I walked over to that island. See that beautiful island there with pitch pine. More islands over there with white cedar and pitch pine. Now you might hear some road noise coming from that direction. That's because the uh, Atlantic City Expressway passes by over there. That's where those, if you can see them, there's some um, power lines over there. They, they uh, run along the expressway. Look at these water lilies. So beautiful. Now this lake and the one on the other side of the paved road are what is left of the old cranberry bogs owned by the guy named John Makepeace. And now the place is named for him, Makepeace Lake. I need you to see these <laughs> pitch pines. Of course, you've seen sl another slideshow or another video, and probably a slideshow that I took here. But I wanted to come back here today, even though it's such an overcast, ugly day. There's a couple of sassafras trees here and some small oaks. Otherwise it's 100% pine or nearly so. There's some witch's brooms. Check this one out. This big scraggly one right here. see how the branches of pitch pine run along the ground sometimes, like that. Now I don't want to run out of video, or uh, run out of time on the 10 minute limit before I show you a couple of uh, witches brooms up ahead. There's a really cool small one down low. Oh, check this. Here's another one. Kind of open. There's some incredible great shapes here. To borrow your term. to see though because of the white sky. Some really great shapes. I love this section of the Pine Barrens. Of course I love the whole Pine Barrens. But see our lake is over there. Ooh, stepped in a hole. Here we go, here it is. The smallest witch's broom I have ever seen. about that. Almost looks like it's been sheared, you know, with head shears. Anyway, I'm going to stop this soon. Let's see, there's another one back there. It's kind of hard to see. This guy is pretty big, that one there. 
All right, I'm going to stop this, get ready for part two.